And I'm sure you had an idea that it was that Joey was maybe going to leave. How did you um, receive it when you told you? Yeah, I was uh, yeah pretty cool about it. You know, that's uh, obviously knew he was going to extend, and then uh, his decision to. Uh, move in 2025, you know, that's his decision and it's, uh, um, yeah, I, I was pretty relaxed about knowing, I didn't think Joey was going to be sort of a 10-year player, you know, I've, I've, I thought he would often play for the Roosters, but I also knew his desire to play uh, different levels, different sports, so uh, yeah, really supportive and um, yeah, happy with the, the process from our point of view. When you say often play for the Roosters, you assume that you may be expected to come back one day? I know he's a rooster, so, um, and he's quite clear on that, but I also know he's a young guy that's got a desire on different things in life as well. Um, and that's one of his, which he's put down the track. He knows what the next couple of years means to us and to him, um, but then he'll get to that at some point. How's he been with all this extra attention and Yeah, it's. Um, yeah, it's a it's a weight that you've got to carry. That's that's the truth of it. Is as a young guy and as a 19 year old, you're not expected to. But if if you want to be uh, the best possible player you can be, and up in lights, there you're going to have to carry some weight along the way. And that's that's come in bucket loads in in the last few months. And um, it's all a part of his learning as well. So it's good. I don't see it as a negative. He, he has to. Um, learn to, to carry it, put it in the right spot if he wants to be the best player in this game. Um, Bill Gould talked about that by saying you're going to go, go right now. Yeah. Can't imagine that's going to happen, is it, on your watch? No, it was a ridiculous comment. You know, that was a guy that's looking after another club and, um, yeah, ridiculous comment to say about um, Joey and, and what he would do. You can stick to his turf and we'll stick to ours and how we want to deal with it. And it showed a fair bit of fear for me about another code. You know, lots of players sign a year out. Coaches go between rugby union and rugby league, but to come out a against Joey as a 19-year-old showed a fair bit of fear about the what the building is across the road for us. And I feel like there's been a lot back and forth between the two codes as well. And it's, we have, like I really like rugby union. You know, it's okay to say as a rugby league guy that you like the game. They've got an amazing international game, which is the World Cup every four years, is a huge um, attraction for players and for us to watch. You know, I enjoy watching it. The European game's strong, but the fact is we have the best rugby competition, uh, league or union, in the world. That's what the NRL is. It's by far the best competition. And they know it and we know it, you know, both sides of the game. Everywhere, everyone around the world watches NRL, I can tell you that. From rugby union to rugby league players, they all know this is the hardest and longest competition in the world. And that's why we enjoy watching it. So therefore, there's no fear on that. We're always going to attract players that want to be their best, that want to be at the height of the game. And that's why I think players will come and go at different times. They'll have you know, 15 spots and they might have, you know, four or five big players that are going to play in that. But we've got 17 teams of such a great competition and that's our, you know, that's the calmness, I guess, that says we're going to produce players because of the way that we train, the competition that we have every week. We're going to have a great competition always. And this is the pinnacle of any rugby competition in the world. So stay cool, relax. You know, we're going to produce players and don't come out with fearful comments about other codes and, and all of that. Respect both sides of it, enjoy parts of their game, but stand tall on, on what our game is. So just relax. No, he's, he's in our game. He's playing rugby league. Uh, he's a rugby league player for the next couple of years, so stay cool, relax, and just play what's in front of you. Don't play what's down the path there in a few years' time. Does it frustrate you as a coach who cares so much about his players that a 19-year-old is copying so much? Well, there's two parts to it. There is a bit of you know protection of your own players and, and wanting to look after them because they're not going to stand up and have that 
really strong voice. But also at some, time, at some point, Joey does need to stand up and have a voice because he has also put himself in the spotlight by the way that he plays, just purely from, from his actions, but also the way that they've negotiated the contracts. He needs to talk about that and his desires at some point. So I, I like the fact, if you're going to be the best, I've seen some guys in, in my past that have put themselves out there like this and they've had to back it up on the field um, and they've had to cop criticism but ultimately it's got the best out of them if they've handled it well. Are you and the club comfortable with how that negotiation process went? Yep, yeah, more than fine. You see Joey every day. Do you think he's a, a big name signing for Blue Rangers? Yeah, of course. Well, they've, they've paid for potential as well. You know, he's still learning to get the best out of himself. He's not the finished product. Um, he's still working really hard. He's 19. And players will get better throughout their 20s. Um, and our, our job is to, to continually sort of push him to get the best out of himself and him himself as well. Um, so they're paying for potential, um, which everybody can see. And it's our job and his job to, to progress that um, for the Roosters over the next couple of years. Yeah, the, I mean, that's the thing is there's not a ceiling. Um, you know, in coaching terms, our job's to raise the floor on where he, um, you know, what his base level is, and then the ceiling's up to, yeah, us and him to continually push that. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to move in positions. We're trying to put him um, some framework around the way that he plays that role. And he's going to be scrutinised, obviously. We can see that. Um, but he's, you know, three games in about to be four games into a centre role. Um, so he's still in the learning phase as a 19 year old and, and we're going to support that. Um, but I know he's going to push for his best and so are we. What have you seen from him in those three weeks that impressed you Daniel? Yeah, I've, I've seen um, both sides of it. I've seen a guy that's, um, you know, the, the way that he plays, the intensity that he plays with and, and, and he goes after the game, both offensively and defensively. Um, and then I've seen some stuff that I want him to improve on and we've discussed that. You know, the, there is a lot externally around it, but the, just the, the simple coaching of the daily meetings that you have with him and the training, we're, we're on a path to getting better um, than what he was the first three rounds and we, we want big improvement over the next couple of years. Robert, do you expect that Rugby Union will reach out and say, can we have him early? And if so, would the answer have been emphatic no? No, no, that's, it's the speculation around it. It's really simple. He'll, he'll be here. Um, those conversations are really clear between uh, Joseph and myself and the club. Um, and also there's no desire from, from them to, um, to get him out early either. So um, that's really simple. Doesn't need to be speculated on. He'll be, he'll be here for the next two years. Stay cool, stay calm. Yep. Are you fearful that rugby are going to be hunting more? I think by my comments are pretty clear that I, I think I spent five minutes talking about that. I'm um, definitely not. There's going to be players that come back and forth, and um, you know, as I said, they don't have 17 times 30 spots. You know, they've got four or five that they'll 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 go after, and that's that's fine. That's the competition that makes this competition in Australia so um, fierce, uh, but there's no fear at all, none whatsoever.